CNP featured research. This is your diet mental health break number 26. Brought to you by the Center for Nutritional Psychology. Two minutes to learn and be good to yourself. Do lonely women tend to show more maladaptive eating behaviors? Let's find out. Humans are social creatures. Social relationships give us a sense of belonging, meaning, intimate connections, and emotional support. They are crucial for everyone's mental and physical health and well-being. However, for different reasons, many individuals cannot establish or maintain a fulfilling network of interpersonal connections. When this happens, we talk about social isolation and the feeling of loneliness. Loneliness or perceived social isolation is a subjective feeling of isolation, disconnection, or being alone, regardless of the amount of social contact one has. It should be distinguished from solitude, which can often be a choice and a positive experience. Studies show that loneliness or perceived social isolation is associated with various adverse physical and mental health outcomes. Study author Shiobe John and her colleagues wanted to investigate the association between loneliness and the brain's reactivity to food cues, eating behaviors, and mental health symptoms. The study participants were 93 women from Los Angeles. These women completed assessments of loneliness and eating behaviors. They also completed functional magnetic resonance imaging of their brains while viewing pictures of different foods. This allowed study authors to record their brain's reactions to these food cues. Results showed that the brains of very lonely women show increased reactivity to food in the inferior parietal lobule region. When viewing sweet foods, reactivity was increased in multiple brain regions. Women with maladaptive eating behaviors, poorer mental health, and higher body fat percentage also tended to show higher brain reactivity to food cues, regardless of the type of food. These findings indicate that alleviating and preventing loneliness may, at the same time, contribute to preventing obesity. Similarly, obesity prevention programs should consider loneliness and fulfilling social connections as important contributing factors. Our thanks to Shiabe John and her colleagues for conducting this informative analysis. This diet mental health break is brought to you by the Center for Nutritional Psychology, CNP. To learn more about the growing field of nutritional psychology, visit us at www.nutritional-psychology.org.